Hello guys, it's Charge and Ryuki, and welcome back to Life is Strange. We're going to continue from where we left off, because episode 3, I believe, just started, and it's getting a little interesting. We're still working on episode 3, so she's going to put on Rachel's clothes, so this is basically just going to continue off from where it left off. So... Oh, that's nice. You're welcome, Kate. <laughs> hey, <bl> <laughs> okay. Start timer. I wonder what's gonna happen. I already looked at those, I believe. So, hi. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, I, I mean, Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Uh, you know what? Pancakes sound pretty good, so let's go. Dying with for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember we would erase each other to grab them from the stack. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Now for the mother's milk. Okay. Oh man, I don't want to be famous for this. Of course. That cereal. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Uh-huh. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. And you're telling me I actually have to go look? Okay, so that doesn't happen again. Uh, 
You'd think eggs would be like right there in the kitchen. Another one. I wonder how these birds died. Oh, uh, no, not swing. Who drinks beer this early around here? That didn't seem to help me any, but... Oh, really? Right there? Who puts groceries at the front door? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Ah, oh, come on. This might be the one time these people are right. Okay. Before I go do that, I'm going to check this. David, this is Officer Korn. Just want to let you know your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-in. What? Can you go soon? Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? I think Chloe has earned a break from all this bullshit. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those Chloe remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler than me. <laughs> you think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. Only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. Go sit at the table. All right. Oh, we have to sit by him. Is he going to show up? I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. 
I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. <laughs> okay. Now that's what I call pancakes. You cannot have breakfast without pancakes. Blueberry pancakes are even better. <laughs> she ate the whole thing. Nobody waters the plant here. Seeing you again uh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He was not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Laid back style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and that was it. I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure. Run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try it again. I need more clues. Thing to see here. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Worst hacker ever. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty millet. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Nothing in it. ID number might work. I 
could try the license number for the password. Try again. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Magic 8-Ball says no. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. This ID number might work. I could try the license number for the password. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Hmm. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. The car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. I didn't mean to do that. Such wrong. Personal. Strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel, Rachel avoids definitely her definitely hooked up with Frank. Ra Rachel avoids her dormitory. Follow Rachel to Lighthouse. Agent was picked up as a possession of a controlled substance. This was reported by David Matson, head of campus security, who witnessed her trying to hide or secure a suspicious medical bag. This officer was called into question, Miss Ember, who responded with threats and Denials. Her bag was found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Over Kate and Dana talked about supplies for Vortex to go parties, drugs. Watch Kate with her church group. She knows her Bible. Kate stays in the bathroom longer than other students. Drugs. Saw Kate helping Jefferson after class. Don't trust a man with goatees. <laughs> Kate has kept herself since vertical party not even church drugs tried to talk to kate about the party she got upset and ran guilty this is so wrong oh, creepy bastard max an online alienist aliases mad max max factor and nora angel nora angel uh, he has an entire schedule
better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. breakfast. David, you, you're back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. Did he just threaten to hit her? Kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you're smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Let's, uh, let's see where the other side is. And then I'll rewind and go with the other one. Because I'm going to say that for the next episode. <laughs> and then I'll just rewind and go back to what I originally was. So we can keep on going on. So I'll be right back guys. Don't forget to bring the nachos. Peace.